Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on the long-awaited Psychonauts 2. So the original Psychonauts uh, was a platformer that released in 2005 for uh, Windows and for the original Xbox. Uh, I played it as a kid, I didn't have the Windows version at first. I had a friend who had an Xbox and uh, like I played it at his place and it was amazing. Uh, basically it's a platformer about psychonauts who are sort of like psychiatrists who have psychic powers and literally go inside people's minds in order to help them work past their uh their trauma and their triggers and their psychological uh you know issues and it's amazing and it's really incredibly well written and really funny and really fun as a game as a platformer and like, even, like, e anyone who's played it has probably got fond memories of it, because it was a really amazing game. Um, I ended up buying the, like, the Windows version, because I did not have an Xbox. I think I had, like, a Nintendo DS or something. I mean, I, I might have gotten a Wii eventually, but I did not have any of the consoles that it was released for. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bought the Windows version off of eBay. It came in, you know, one of those little boxes. It came on five CDs. To give you an idea of uh, what sort of time frame we're talking here, the game came on five separate CDs instead of being easily squeezed onto a single DVD. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and that was, you know, before we were downloading games from the internet using Steam and things like that. Uh, this one I've just installed off Steam. I didn't need to leave the house at all. I just got it off Steam. So yeah, um... The original game, 2005. Uh, in 2015, I believe, uh, the team behind the original game announced that they were trying to work on a sequel, and they started doing a crowdfunding thing through Fig, kind of like um, kind of like Kickstarter, kind of like Indiegogo, that kind of thing. Uh, and I believe I backed that at the time, but that was still six years ago, <laughs> and it's kind of amazing that the game has finally happened. Uh, they did put out another Psychonauts game called Psychonauts and the Rumbus of Ruin in 2018, but that was like a, a short VR type game, and you can only play it with VR equipment, which I don't have, so I've never played that. But this game, which just released today, um, is apparently the sequel to a 2005 platformer that sold pretty poorly, but became an incredibly popular cult classic because it was a great game. <laughs> um... I do think the 2005 original, like, because it's about, um, you know, people with mental illness and it was released in 2005 and it was, you know, a sort of wacky comedy game, I do think it probably wouldn't be, uh, the most, the most respectfully written game it played these days. And I'm hoping that they've taken that into account in this game they've now released just now. This is the first screen that comes up when you start the game. I didn't, like, deliberately go into the assist features menu or anything. This is the first thing it shows you. So I think that's a really promising start. <laughs> We're just going to dive in and see how we go. Um, so, yeah, like, the original game, it was incredibly fun and creative and quotable and formed a major part of my childhood and... Uh, that friend I mentioned who had the Xbox, like, I saw that he's also bought this game on Steam and has started playing it today as well, so you can see that we have a lot of fond memories of the original and we're really excited to see what happens next. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna probably leave most of this stuff on the default settings. Hang on, I need to maybe I focus the game. Uh, it doesn't seem to support the Pro Controller. I'm using Rewasted to make it think this is a 360 controller. Uh, so that's maybe something to take into account. Uh, it's possible I can change that later, but I didn't want to go past this menu. I just wanted to show you this bit. So yeah, uh, languages, we can change the text to all sorts of different languages. Uh, default, uh, font legibility changes the stylized handwritten font to a more legible one. Subtitles are on by default. I haven't messed with the settings yet. You can make the subtitles larger if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave these on probably their defaults. Uh, I might turn this one on just to see what that does. Localized navigation sign UI. Uh, and the brightness, yeah, you can mess with the brightness, adjust it how you want. Uh, it looks about right to me, so that should be fine. Uh, mental health advisory. 
Psychonauts 2 contains artistic interpretations of serious mental conditions including addiction, PTSD, panic attacks, anxiety, and delusions. There are also images that may be upsetting to people with dental phobia. These conditions are usually presented in a lighthearted or even comical manner, but might still be distressing to some players. Ultimately, Psychonauts 2 is a game about empathy and healing. If you find yourself experiencing a negative reaction to this content, or you need mental health resources, please visit takethis.org slash mental health resources. That is a really good thing to see. <laughs> um, so yeah, the original game covered this so similar sorts of stuff. It did not have uh, an advisory warning like this when you start the game. This one does. And I think that looks really good. Um, I know, I know the reason for the part about dental phobia. Um, like what one of the villains in the original game is like uh, a really uh, scary dentist, basically. Um, and so, yeah, if you've got dent dental related phobia, there may be problems. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is, that's the idea of the game. And they've got this warning at the beginning, which is really respectful and cool and good to see so yeah um i'm really hoping the game lives up to the impression i'm getting so far dear true psychic tales magazine it's me again rasputin aquato i know i write a lot and you haven't printed any of my true psychic submissions so far but this one's different this one's true i just helped rescue truman zanato the grand head of the psychonauts and father of lily zanato my girlfriend Although, the term is still very fresh and might need fact-checking before we go to print. <laughs> it was a kiss, but... Okay, I'm already getting off track. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up in the circus. The Aquato Family Circus. A ragtag little caravan of acrobats run by my parents. We were taught all our lives to hate and fear psychics. Or fortune-tellers, as we knew them. All because of some old thing where they cursed the Aquatos to die in water. Problem is, I am psychic. I have been all my life. I hid my powers from my family, practicing them in secret. Until one fateful night. After a show, a mysterious stranger handed me a brochure for Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. A training facility for psychic kids, operated by the International Espionage Agency we all know as... Bum, bum, bum! The Psychonauts. <laughs> I ran away from home that night. When I got to Whispering Rock, I blended in seamlessly with the other campers. Superstar secret agent Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello taught me levitation and side blast. I learned pyro and telekinesis from Ford Cruller himself. He was all over camp, literally all over, due to his ability to teleport. He even <laughs> took up psychic residence in my head, which I could prove to you if you had a piece of bacon. Needless to say, things were going great. The one little catch was that the head coach of the camp was stealing campers' brains and putting them inside armored death tanks that I guess he was gonna use to take over the world or something. I went into his mind and found out he just had some issues with his father. I mean, who doesn't, right? Now he's okay. Not great, but okay. Just as Ford Kreller was making me an honorary psychonaut for all my hard work, word came in that Truman Zanato had been kidnapped. So my fellow psychonauts and I jumped in a jet and set out to find him. Our search led us to an abandoned underwater outpost of the psychonauts in a dangerous part of the ocean known as the Rhombus of Ruin. We found Truman there, held captive by Dr. Lobato, unlicensed dentist and amateur brain surgeon. We freed Grand Head Zanotto, but he's got Silerian poisoning and can't tell us what happened. We know Lobato wasn't acting alone, but he won't tell us who hired him to kidnap Truman. Agent Nine has an idea how to get the information, using an elaborate psychic construction implanted in Lobato's mind. It's risky, but... That's just a way of life when you're a psychonaut. If I don't make it back, I really hope you consider publishing my letter. And also, please consider the sample layout and illustrations I included. Well, I better get my head in the right place. The mission is about to begin. So uh, that was a synopsis of the first two games, basically. Uh, everything up to Truman Zanotto being mentioned, 
like be being kidnapped. That's the first game, and then the kidnapping and rescuing of Truman is the, is Rhombus of Ruin. Uh, again, I haven't played Rhombus of Ruin, but the synopsis of the first game there was very accurate. <laughs> uh, that should give you a good idea of what you missed. <laughs> Also, uh, that voice, Raz, that's the main character, the playable character. He has the same voice actor in this game, so I'm having some uh, nostalgia vibes here. Uh, what have we got here? Settings. Controls. Uh, there's a bunch of different options for the controls here. That's good. This features... Oh! Oh! <gasps> oh, good, good, good. Look at these assist features. Oh, no fall damage. Complete invincibility. Narrative combat. Deals significantly more damage during combat to hit the focus on story. Uh, the UI stuff we already saw. You can turn on colorblind compensation as well. For various types of colorblindness. Uh, turn on the camera shake intensity. Oh, oh gosh. This looks good. Display settings. Uh, V-Sync... Uh, some pretty standard stuff here. Wanted to mess with it. Graphics, quality, it's set to low. I don't want to overwhelm my computer. <laughs> um, let's try putting it to high and see what happens. Uh, we've got lots of different audio volumes. And we can log into Xbox Live. Um, this, this game, I believe it's published by, like, Xbox Studios or whatever. Uh, but they are putting out Mac and Linux versions, so it's not quite as Microsoft as it could be. <laughs> uh, extras, credits, previously on. I think that's what we just watched. Mental Health Advisory we saw already. Uh, let's go new game. That's a brain. Oh, we got little bubbles. Three days ago, Truman Zanotto, the grand head of the Psychonauts, was kidnapped. Yesterday, with my help, the Psychonauts rescued Truman from the underwater lair of Dr. Lobato. But trust me, there's no way Lobato is working alone. Today, we're on a mission. Find out who hired Dr. Lobato to kidnap Truman Zanotto. My name is Raz. And today is my first official day on the job. <laughs> a little cubicle. <laughs> Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> what is little brain thing? Everything okay in here, Raz? Oh, <laughs> hey, Lily. Yeah, I don't know. It's just... I've dreamed about working at Psychonauts headquarters all my life. I just thought it would be more... You know? Come on! We're going to be late for the morale corral. And that's how we managed to raise profits uh, 900% this quarter. That's right. Thank you. And that brings us to our next topic. Uh, Sasha, still have the talking turtle? <laughs> Maury. Sorry, I just like the clapping. It's now time to give out the award for Employee of the Year. The prize for this year's award is an all-expenses-paid tropical vacation. Ooh. Oh, I hope it's me. The winner of this award may be one of our newest members, but he's Brands, also one it? of our most improved. 
Congratulations to Caligosto Loboto. Oh. Hmm. Way to go, Cal. You're gonna love this vacation package. I'm jealous. I I've never won anything. Or been on a vacation. I don't have to go on a boat, do I? No, darling. Woo! All you need to do is get this vacation request approved by your supervisor. What? Just a formality. You just need to get this form signed by your boss. My boss? Yes, darling. Or you could just tell us who your boss is and we could... No! Maybe he doesn't want this tropical vacation after all. Get back! I want it! I'm employee of the year! Yes, you are, darling. Now off you oh, oh, right, right, they need to know who he was working for. Okay. <laughs> the person who hired you. The person you work for. Okay. Hurry up, or I take that <laughs> vacation myself. <laughs> Rasputin? I'm on him. Keep up with him, Raz, and he'll lead you straight to his boss. Okay, I can't walk any faster than this. I'm tilting the stick all the way forward. I also can't jump or anything yet. I can just walk. Careful, darling. Stay close to him, Raz. But don't freak him out. Okay. Never to act casual. I am acting casual. What's that? I said, I love casual Friday. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Attention. The two. Don't lose him, Raz. Okay, I can move faster now. This is probably my normal walking speed. Uh oh. What is it? I think he suspects something. He's taking countermeasures. Just remember your basic fighting, soldier. Right. X to punch these boxes. It's actually Y because I'm using a pro controller, but. Yep. Of course not. You are following me. This was all a trick. I'm not employee of the year. I'm the greatest dentist of our century. All agents, the tooth has gone bad. Repeat, the tooth has gone bad. Maintain pursuit, Rasputin. We are in position to intercept. Roger. <laughs> Looking for me? Well, come and get me. Oh, wow. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation you're in. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, you're not supposed to walk that way. Posters. <laughs> Where about your posters? Oh, that's new. Wall jumps weren't in the original game. Coach! No time for small talk, soldier! The enemy is on the move! But we've got him cornered this way! Quick! Hurry! We can't let him shake us! Now, before the procedure, it's very important that we clean out your dentist's hat. You don't want any dirty. Go away. Oh, we can dodge roll. There's a similar thing. Uh, it basically works like uh, Zed targeting in Ocarina in the original. But you've got like a dodge button in this game. Following orders, Private. You go on ahead. Welcome. I'll take up the rear guard. Got a figment? There's a figments of Lobato's imagination in here. Yep, figments. When you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Yeah, I know about figments. I've played this game before. <laughs> so yeah, figments are just collectibles. You just grab them all, and stuff happens. It's good. <laughs> I thought the big tooth was upsetting. Well, 
Soldier through, Private. Unzip that dental door. Telekinesis is a lot more detailed in this game. It was a thing in the first game, but it looks like you can do more with it here. Zip it back up again. Zip it. Yeah. Now that your cap is clean, let's check out those choppers. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd swear this place had gremlins. No problem. I'm sure I can do this in the dark. Uh... <gasps> Coach, this room is definitely not in Sasha's plan. In fact, I think it's a trap. No. That's just a sensor. Everybody has those. You live in your mind and stamp out things that don't belong. Like us? You handle this one. I'll find a way out. Combat in this game is definitely more elaborate than the first games. <laughs> Just have to do your thing with the dental door here. Ugh. I can't even look at it. I should try to get that sorted. I will grab these pigments first. Yes. And you want to sort some emotional baggage? <laughs> The figments look a bit sketchier in this game. Like, they looked sort of like this, they weren't moving. Like, they were pretty much stationary in the original. I, I like the little animation they've had, they have in this one. It gives them a bit more of... Uh, an imagine, imaginary feel to it. Which is fitting. <laughs> hey, that's one of Dr. Lobato's faults. I should try to catch it. Could be high-value intel. Enhancement onto the sea. So far this is more or less the same as the first game, but the combat is a very much advanced, so... That's cool. Uh, I assume we'll get to levitate and therefore move around a lot faster soon, but yeah, we're doing okay for the time being. The thrash should already know how to levitate. Oh, there's the bag tag. There we go. Hello, little bag. Oh gosh, a lot of the music is the same as the first one. I'm, I'm vibing with it. Hey, see what you can find that way. See you on the other side. Looks like some sort of conference room in here. Rasputin, is that you? I need. Oof. I'm coming, Sasha. Rasputin, careful. Uh -huh. It's a. Here's the hat box tag. A trap! It's a trap! Lobato has... Oof. I won't let them eat you, Sasha! Thank you, Rescue. Please, let's get clear of this aggressive... Sasha, how is Lobato breaking through the office... Code? Okay, so they were trying to basically inception him. <laughs> I must be getting help from someone even more... sinister. Get ready, Rasputin. Uh, in the first game, you had a limited ammunition for your side blast. In this game, it looks like it just has a cooldown. Forward, uh, Sasha! I, ooh, I've got the situation under our control. 
Ah. Just find us a way out of here quickly. Yeah, don't bother with them little mooks. You want to <laughs> go for the gold. You got to grab the big boys. Help me carry this one, will you, Frankie? <laughs> what is happening? Sasha, where'd you go? Oh man, I need to find that exit. Yeah, I get these. Two fairies, drop that too. It's not yours, and I need to jump on it. <laughs> I can't believe this shot. Ah, they got me too, Frankie. <laughs> Store, store, rage, breakdown, boss, crap. <laughs> Did you even brush before you came in here today? Honestly, it's a mess in there. Here, rinse and spit. Ah! Get out everything that doesn't belong. Oh no, not back in the trap. Trap? Coach? Coach, where'd he go? Oh, well, that's a good sign. What is it? That is a regret. If Lobato has regrets, then maybe there's a way we can still get to him. Let's get out of here and find Lobato. Regrets are new, they weren't in the first game. Sasha, are regrets dangerous? Oh yes, extremely. Take care of that one, will you, while I find an exit. Give me that health. Unfortunately, I can't find a way out of here anywhere. Uh, Sasha? How long has that golden door been there? Golden what? Did somebody say gold? Frankie, here's our chance for revenge! Oh, not these guys. I'll keep looking. <laughs> Watch out! They're shooting at us! Frankie! Frankie? Oh no, not again! I'm coming to see ya, ma! Rasputin, you see what you can find through that door. I'm going to stay here and attempt to repair my construct. Yep. Oh, this is not getting any better. I'm coming! Uh-oh! Slipper! Hurry up, Raz! Here I come! Oh no, water! As mentioned in the opening, Raz cannot swim. He's been cursed to not be able to enter water. Yeah. It's not a phobia. It's a curse. Back in Grulovia, my whole family was cursed to die in water, and- Yeah, yeah, super sad. Look at these posters! I think someone else planted these in Lobato's mind to intimidate him. And make sure he didn't tell us who hired him to kidnap your dad. Let's get rid of them. Maybe it'll help. Help me burn these posters, Raz. Burning? Yes. Parakinesis? LB to charge prognosis and release to set things on fire. Okay. Sounds good to me. So prognosis works differently too. You charge it up by holding down the button. And then release. In the original you just held and you had to stand still. 
I'm gonna catch up to Lobato. They've changed how all, all existing powers work just a little bit, which is interesting. Burn them all. Can I burn the lilies in? Ah, fire! It hurts! Help! Oh, oh no. Lily? <laughs> oh no. Uh, I was expecting that not to work, but no, it works. We're not here to hurt you. We just want to know who hired you to kidnap Truman Zanotto. You! Yeah. you just let it go! Oh, well. That ends well. Right. And the hat box. I believe the reason they're focusing on Lobotto's mind here is that in the original, you don't get to go in Lobotto's mind. Who are you protecting? He was a major, a major villain, but you didn't get to enter his mind like you do with every other character. <laughs> oh, not every other character, most other characters. There's a purse. I don't think I have the purse tag though. Okay. I need the purse tag here. Yeah. you screaming? Or me? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Listen, we all have our doubts and regrets, but it's too late to turn back now. Understand? What we have to do now is finish the extraction. Lily, hey, Lily. I think Lobato is starting to have doubts. Duh, they're right over there. That's a doubt. They're highly flammable. You take care of them while I find a way out, okay? Look familiar? Get away from me, you scary little girl! Think we should burn it? Oh, you haven't changed, have you? Come on, just tell us who hired you to kidnap my dad. Oh, this is really personal for you, isn't it? Pop. Oh, okay. That's like a use like a med kit you can use later. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> Do anything. Oh, brother. Uh, at least. It was an accident. 
You've got to be kidding me. Your father got lost. Up in the rocks. On accident. Uh, I was just trying to help him rest while we waited for you to come save him. Nice try. Oh, I don't even care anymore. Oh, yeah, boy. I think I just did. <laughs> Mia? Yes, darling? Nothing. Did you forget everything I taught you? Oh, we're gonna learn to levitate. Here we go. No. Your thoughts can lift you up if you focus. Better mm. hurry before we hit the ground. There you go. Now let's get out of here. Lobato needs our help. Yes. Wait, help Lobato. Someone really did a number on that poor thing. I think he wants to tell us who hired him, but he's terrified. Let's find him and help him. Yeah, oh, you go from that direction. Okay, I can do that. Mia. Mia, the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. There's a little chaos on every mission, Raz. A psychonaut must always remember how to roll with it. You remember how to gather your thoughts and roll with them, right? Okay, we can now use levitation. <laughs> We in track with these things yet? I'm not sure what these are. Mm, maybe we need a new power or something. Oh, hazardous floors, okay. Yeah, you normally bounced a lot higher with levitation in the first game. It looks like they've nerfed that a bit in favor of having levitation help you with other things. Um. Um. 
Mia? Where are you? Sasha, I can't reach Mia. I think she's been demented. I better eat a Psypop before I run out of mental energy. Mm, those Psypops are good. And Oops. good for you. I can do this. I keep pressing uh, L, uh, the left trigger and left bumper instead of left trigger. Like, I want to do that, but I keep pressing this button, which is the uh, pyrokinesis button, so it doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're good. I assume we're near the end of the area because there's a count of how many pigments we're supposed to get. It's him! I've got to stop him! Okay. Give me mental health. I put the box in the basket in the basket of Yoshi. No, that's not it. I it. No. No. I I put the old box in the basket and the egg in the ocean. May have missed a couple of pigments. In the box in the basket. In the basket in the ocean. No, no. That's not it. Put the old box in the basket and the egg in the ocean. You put the egg in the basket and the old egg in the box and the box in the ocean. <laughs> Simple. And if you tell anyone about me, anyone at all, you'll have to deal with her. No, not her. Please don't make me look at her again. No, no, I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No, please. My goodness. <laughs> no, not her. I won't tell. was booby-trapped. Yes, whoever hired Lobato to kidnap Truman knew he might be psychically interrogated. The poor thing looks terrified. Did anyone get a good look at his boss? I saw him, but I couldn't tell who he was. And I saw... something else. I saw the thing that terrified Lobato. It was... a woman, dressed in black fur. She was floating over the ruins of a city, and she was commanding serpents of... water. There was something familiar about her. Rasputin, I'm going to show you a picture. That's her! Wait a second. I thought I recognized her. True Psychic Tales, issue 43! She's on the cover! Maligula. The Deluge of Grulovia. Maligula? She's been dead for 20 years! Fort Crawler killed her himself! A battle from which he never truly recovered. She was a monster, 
A ruthless, power-hungry psychic who drowned hundreds of her own countrymen. Nevertheless, she still has her loyal followers to this day. This file documents recent activity believed to be the work of these modern-day delusionaries. What are they up to? Well, it's ridiculous, really. There's no scientific basis to... Necromancy. What? They're trying to bring her back to life? It's silly, darling, but if they believe they can do it, they might do some dangerous things. Mia, have you considered the other disturbing fact in all of this? That unstable character. Could Baby. never kidnap the grand head Psst. of the Psychonauts without help? Yes. You mean... There's a mole in the Psychonauts. You think this is a mole, you're dumber than you look. Approaching the mother Girl. Agent Forsythe, why did you deny us intel when we hailed the Motherlobe? What are you talking about, Agent Nine? We were on a mission to rescue the Grand Head of the Psychonauts. When we called for assistance... I never heard any call. Who did you talk to? Is he all right? We won't know for sure until we get that squirrel tested for rabies. This is our kidnapper. Clearly, he had help on the inside. Impossible. A mole in the Psychonauts? We have reason to believe delusionists are involved. And they're trying to bring back Malikula. What? I know. Isn't it great? The Psychonauts haven't had this kind of a threat in years. Can someone help me with my dad? He's still acting funny. Truman! Let's get him inside so he can lie down. I'll see what I can find out in my meditation chamber. I'm taking Lobato to my office for further interrogation. I'm gonna talk to Otto about our military options. Does that make anyone else a little nervous? Who are you? I'm Raz. Uh, Rasputin? I'm, uh, your newest psychonaut? How's that? Ford Crowley, he gave me a badge. I've been kind of helping out. <laughs> Listen, kid. Agent Crowler is a hero. But he's not operating at 100%. He can hand out all the merit badges he wants, but he doesn't have the authority to commission psychonauts. But you can, right? You're Hollis Forsythe, lesser head of the psychonauts. True Psychic Tales 146. You and Truman fought the Noodler together. I prefer the title, Second Head. If the other agents vouch for you, I might be able to get you a spot. In the intern program. But don't be late for orientation. I hear the Rude. coordinator's a real brain buster. Welcome to the Mother Lobe. Okay, uh, well, we're at the Mother Lobe now. So we can't go out? I'm going to look around. <clears throat> hey, is it okay if I go up into the main headquarters now? I'm sorry, little boy, but there just aren't any school tours today. What? I'm an intern. Agent Forsythe gave me this. Really? Let's check your head in the fingerprint reader, please. <laughs> fingerprint? Well, I'll be doused. Welcome to the intern program. Let me get you your orientation materials.
Alright then. Wow. That picture really captures my startled side. <laughs> Ooh, looks like I can choose where to focus my energy and upgrade my powers. Very interesting. Gotta keep uh, track of all the places I've been here. Oh, I can't go back. It's making me go look at everything I'll first. To -do list here. I want to go back and have a look at this one because uh, the way the first game worked, you had an overall like second or rank that went up as you got everything. You got figments, you got cards, you got all sorts of different collectibles, and everything ranked ranked you up. You got particular upgrades at each numeric rank, like it went from level 1 to level 100 or something, and like every 5 levels or so it upgraded one of your powers, and you couldn't pick which, and it looks like they've expanded on this a bit. <laughs> uh, can I revisit it by going in here? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> That's a brain. I'm really here! Psychonauts headquarters! Ow. Sorry, new ball. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, look at all the stuff we can do. Excuse me, but do you know where intern orientation is? Second floor, past the classroom. Thanks. If you pass the restrooms, you went the wrong way. But are we recruiting from kindergartens now? If she doesn't find a way to let off some steam soon, she's going to crash. I like how Raz's hair is kind of poking out now. Um, like Raz always wears this, you know aviator's hat sort of thing for the entire first game you, you don't you don't see his hair uh in this one he started not wearing it and you could see all of his hair and you can still see some i'm personally too busy crafting the future of psychotechnology in my lab right now this automatic has all have a look around oh okay this is where you can shop for stuff Idea. Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. So this was a thing in the first game. You used a core and nine cards that you found by walking around the overworld in order to rank up. Got some achievements for doing that. <laughs> Skins. Oh. Okay, so you, there were color-changing thingies in the first game, but it looks like there's more stuff going on. Excellent choice. I want to have another look if it'll let me. Let's see what else we've got on in here. The Mental Magnet, that was in the first game as well. Uh, Goo Proof Glass Cannon. Uh, VIP Discount. Oh, interesting. There's lots of stuff in here. So much cool stuff in there. I'll come back later for the rest of it. What I said, sort of. Wow. The Psychonauts have their own hair salon? Would it be weird if I asked for the Sasha 9? Doesn't look open yet, though. 
Yeah, I can see a card in there. I want to get in, but it doesn't. Oh well. I'm sure you're a power like 11 by 14 inches. I'm holding out for extra. Yep. I don't seem to be able to get very high up by levitating yet. Climbing? Oh, here we go. Because Raz is a trained acrobat, he's pretty good at jumping around on things. Uh... I really should cut back on saturated fats. Got some intern credits. Ranked up over here. I don't have a key. Oh, I need a key to open that? Okay. Oh, that's legal. Wait. <laughs> oh, you look just like my nephew. A little jerk. <laughs> I like the wall jumps or everything in this game. That's an improvement. Whoa! Sorry, I didn't. Whoa! Ow! That's mean. Did he hurt you, baby? I'm not a baby. Yeah, you are. Question is, who's this new kid? My name is Raz, and I'm the new intern. That's ridiculous. I didn't ask for a new intern. Intern program's full. Sorry, kid. He is clumsy. He'd probably get us all killed. And he's mean. Well, kid, we give it a fair shot, <laughs> and it looks like it just didn't work out. Better luck next year. Guys, quit picking on the new kid. We were all new ones, in case you forgot. I think he'll fit in just fine. In fact, I think he'll look cute in our uniform. Let's take him to the closet. Hey, you okay in there, Rusty? What's the hold up? It's Raz. I was just wondering if there's an intern uniform, how come you guys aren't wearing it? Oh, well, we're level two. Now just hand out your clothes and we'll get you that uniform. Oh no. Can't you hand me the uniform first? <laughs> no, silly. We need to take your clothes and measure them so we can get you a uniform that fits. Unless you want us to come in there and measure you. No, no. Here you go. Just hurry up, okay? It's cold in here and I'm practically naked. Uh-oh. Guys? Oh, no. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing in so many ways. Oh, no. There's a narrow slot, but I don't think I can fit through it. That's a pretty narrow. Oh, hang on. Uh, uh I think I found a glitch. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Little supply chest thingies. Oh, there's the key for it. Yep. Uh -huh. I'll bet this key goes to that supply chest I found. Where am I keeping this stuff? I don't have my backpack. <laughs> So cute. What is it, Harold? Do you know the code? Is the code in there, Harold? I'm too big to go in there. If only I could see what you see in there. Hey, that reminds me. Clairvoyance. Almost. 
almost had it. I just need to focus time to see the world as you see it, Carol. <laughs> Apparently they've expanded on clairvoyance in this version of the game. I'm not pressing any buttons, he's just moving by himself. Thank you, Harold. But yeah, one of the main things about clairvoyance is that when you look at yourself, you always look like a different way based on who it is. What did that say? I've already forgotten. Hang on. Zero seven two six. Okay. I'm not sure if I need to remember it or if Rise will just know it. Ah, oh, Rise just knew it. Okay. still can't extract the information we need. Have you tried the Corpus Colossorator? Of course, no effect. Sasha, you have to let me do more. You know it's because of me that... Otto. I mean, if I hadn't... Not a word, Rasputin, until I find you some new clothes. Sorry if the fit is a little off. They're oh, I like it. Clothes I had. Now, uh, tell us again how you ended up outside in your underwear. Oh, you know, I, I was sort of going undercover. Just like you did, Agent Mentalis, in True Psychic Tales number 62, when you used your defibrillator to hypnotize 16 trans troopers at once. Oh, please. That old yarn. Oh, they embellished so many details in that version. But in fact, it was 17 troopers. <gasps> Well, I love to chat, but uh, I gotta make like a brain and bounce. <laughs> if you're ever looking for just the right tool for the job, come see me in my workshop. Even the best psychonauts require a little assistance now and then. I'm having now, so much fun. Excuse me, Rasputin. I need to get back to the matter at hand. No, no. I didn't bend the spoons, mommy. <laughs> I love going through the car wash. Oh, and don't worry about the other interns, Rescue. Initiation rituals are a common method for a specialized social group to integrate foreign elements while preserving the social exclusivity of that group. Understand? Uh, thanks, Sasha. I love these things. Ah, oh, come on, those little hidden. I've had a lot of hair. Okay. But I can't. Feels like I got a little more spring in my levitation. I do want pouncy ball. That sounds really good, but I can't afford it yet. Oh, you're scared. But if you could just tell me who. No, 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 no more question. <sighs> I believe if I roll into enemies, it'll now hurt them, which is handy. Hey, this is just like the brain tumbler you had at camp. Yes, but stand back. It's due for a thorough delousing. If I can ever convince Hollis to pay for it. Wait a second. Stay away from that, please. Everything is tuned to my precise head size and shape. I'm afraid a head like yours would <laughs> damage the machine irreparably. <laughs> I'm guessing this is like a warp panel. Um. In the first game, you could jump into tree, into like tree stumps throughout the camp to walk around, and this looks like, like a subway network sort of thing. So I'm guessing you can warp using these later on. Now. Agent. Oh, cute. Oh, that's adorable. Um, in the original game, like, 
they had these cutouts for what, what, what Raz looks like when you're in clairvoyance mode. Uh, but they didn't animate. Like, they stayed stationary. So having them, like, wobble around like this is much more adorable. <laughs> Quite an improvement. <laughs> uh, it's Leander's room. Hi, Mia. Yep. With that side card, I can make a side challenge marker back at the automatic. Well, they won't mind if I take all these keys. Is this a bad time, Mia? I always have time for my kid in Gino. <laughs> Sounds like it's quitting time. Are you worried about Maligula? Well, she died in the bottle of Grulovia, but sometimes the idea of someone is more dangerous than the person themselves. Her followers are what scare me. When someone devotes their life to a memory, they're capable of anything. Got to work. Are you worried about Truman? To be honest, I've never seen him like this before. But he's very tough, and he has his fearless daughter in there now, taking care of him. Is this even legal? Well, I'll stop bothering you now. Never a bother, darling. Ciao. If you don't mind, I'm going to try one more time. Anything I can climb to keep getting into things? Doesn't look like it. That was a dirty trick you pulled. I want my clothes back. You know, you're right. I'm sorry. And I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to let you finish my asset recovery mission. Why do I feel like I'm going to end up naked in the closet again? My intern assignment is to track down this list of missing Psychonaut assets. Oh, a fetch quest. <laughs> mission critical assets. So, like a scavenger hunt? If you think like a child, you will do a child's work. Finish this mission, and we'll know you're ready for your clothes back. This looks like a good place to track my side missions. Yeah, there was a scavenger hunt in the first game as well. Uh, it was pretty fun. Oh, I just hate to see you like this. Also, pulling up money like this was a thing in the first game. There we go. I just renamed it to Titanium, which is better. Um, the, uh, the original game was a little more uh, inappropriate about it. <laughs> uh, basically, camp, uh, Whispering Rock Psychic Sum of Camp is built on an ancient Indian burial ground, and their money was arrowheads made of Titanium. Uh, so yeah, that's not very appropriate. It's... <laughs> Over here. Hi. But yeah, they just made it chunks of Titanium in this game, which is better. Hello. Hey Sam, aren't you not supposed to tap the glass? No, it's the opposite. You're supposed to tap on the glass to keep their heart rates up. In this predator-free environment, their heart rates get dangerously slow. Huh. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Plus they love it. I mean, look at him jump. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm a squirrel. Look at that. <laughs> I'm really late to intern orientation now. I better get to the class right away. Nah. I got stuff to do. Hmm. That person's aura hey, is telling me that perspective. Ball Check these new pins, the very latest. Psychic. I'm trying to talk to you, hang on. Pins, 
Good thing you bought that now. I was just about to raise the price. <laughs> okay, I can carry a thousand money instead of a hundred now, so. The automatic will be here. Check out these new pins, the very latest. I afford a cycle. Oh, I need more money for a cycle. Please use your purchases oh, responsibly. Really? Yeah, I'm breaking my heart. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna one. Check these new pins, the very latest. Let's combine that Psychor with your card so you can rank up. Combine. No refunds. Okay, now I can unlock Pouncy Ball. Let's do it. I can actually jump higher or not. Oh, cutscene. Wow. Here they are. The Psychic Six. The group of paranormal experts Ford Crowler gathered together to form Psychonauts. I read all about them in True Psychic Tales number one. Tragically, none of them were the same uh. after fighting Maligula in the deluge of Grulovia. Less tragically, but still upsetting. My mom used that issue of True Psychic Tales to line the floor of the world's smallest horse trailer. Oh no. It is upsetting. Oh yeah, that is higher. Okay. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> oh, I see. They look towards where Raz is. Over here. Neat. Maybe. Oh yeah, there we go. Thanks. Got some new gadgets available in my shop for testing. Uh, I mean for purchase. They're totally safe. Not available to interns. I can reach that one just yet. I might need more powers. All new interns. Please report to my office for orientation. Scanning for fingerprints. I don't have all day, new kid. Area not accessible by interns. Shouldn't you be in class? Yeah, I probably should go to class. Uh, this way. Hey! Experts agree. It's just not safe to use clairvoyance. Without my Get a hold of yourself, Oleander. Go on fighting Maligula without my battle bike, cheapskates. Hey, I'm with you. <laughs> Letting him build a battle anything is probably a bad idea. <laughs> oh, right, new intern. 
thought I told you not to be late. Doesn't matter. You need a mentor. Let me see who's left. Ooh. Am I helping Mia or Sasha on a mission? No. You're in the mailroom. Your mentor is Nick John Smith. Mailroom? Nick John Smith? I've never heard of an Agent John Smith. Nick's not an agent. He's not even psychic. He's just good at sorting mail. <laughs> You'll love Nick. Everybody does. Perfect. But the mailroom? Ford Crowler himself worked in that mailroom. You could learn a lot there. For one thing, how to be on time. I'll snap. Okay. I've given you fingerprint access to the mailroom. Now scoot. I've got a base to run and a budget to balance. I've got enough credit to upgrade one of my psi powers. I can't leave this card lying around. Agree. That door gonna stay unlocked this time? Yep. Yep. I'm trying, to, trying to talk to my little friend. Oh no. Hmm. Hey, Lily. Hey! Uh, how's your dad? Terrible! I gotta go get him some therapy plant stat. How'd you get that hatch open? Oh, it's got a fingerprint combination. I can teach it to you. Come here. It's more than just a number. You kinda have to feel it. Do you feel it? Yes. Good. Tell anybody you got it from me, and you're dead. <laughs> Bye! Okay, so I can walk a couple different places now using that. Me! Let's go to the mail room. Time I saw him. <laughs> He's usually so organized. Oh no, something happened to him? Hmm. There's a narrow slot. I don't think I can fit through. Am I gonna like shrink down and go through that slot or? I don't know what new powers are in this game. I haven't got any that, that weren't in the first game yet. Who are you? I'm hey, uh, Nick John Smith's new intern. Oh, so you're the one not sorting all this mail. Wait! Better get all this mail sorted quick! You're making Nick look bad.
need to sort this mail if I'm going to ace this internship. Yep. some stuff as you do this thing I'm guessing I need to throw some of this stuff into the correct boxes but oh I see it goes up there It's not as interesting as, you know, jumping around and collecting things, but it's still fun. This package is addressed to Truman Zanotto. Hey, this might be important. I'd better bring it to Truman. Technically, this is official Psychonauts business. Yeah, I can see something back here. Uh, squeeze through here. Another key. Heavy. What the heck did Truman order here? Ouch! That did some damage. Take okay, it then. Sorry, Truman. <laughs> I'd better deliver this to Truman quick. Doesn't look like. Cargo. <laughs> really not if we hit some things, that's okay. Oop. Oh. What the Hey, you guys gotta check this out. The new kid killed Nick. He's alive, but he's brainless. <gasps> Attack me again. <gasps> What kind of sick monster would steal Nick's brain? I mean, Nick! Maybe he saw something he shouldn't have. But why keep his body alive? And why mail it to the Grand Head of the Psychonauts? It could be a warning. Hey guys, does the Lady Lucktopus Casino mean anything to you? Isn't that where we sent Agent 33? To investigate suspected delusionist activity? Agent 33 mm -hmm. is two days late with her status update. I'll get the jet. I'll pack the go case. I'll stay here and protect the children. What? Aren't we all going on the mission? We could use you in tactical command, Agent Forsyth. And maybe the interns would benefit from... It's not safe. Not while we have a double agent among us. I'll take her place. I've heard the buffet there is shockingly reasonable. Well, if you reconsider, meet us on the jet pad within the hour. Can't we just... No, all of you, to the intern's bay. Now. I've got some training exercises planned today that are both informative and safe. Last one there has to delouse the brain tumbler. TV. I'll bet those guys took Nick's body back to the mail. I should go check and see if it's okay. <sighs> he is my mentor after all. How can you think about bowling at a time like this? We all deal with stress in our own ways. Yeah, like how you kids like teddy bears and blankets. I can't really see them. Oh, there they are. What are you up to, though, right? 
dude. League nights canceled? Scanning access granted. Rasputin Aquato, you are holding up the class. Please report to the think tank right away. Almost had it. I just need to focus a little longer with my clairvoyance. Oh, that's Nick. He's there now. Up we go. Yep. How are you getting there? I need a new power, I haven't got it yet. Oh good, you're finally here. Let me know when you're prepared to learn something. Agent Foresight. That mission is being handled by experienced psychonauts. Do not bring it up again. If I may speak... You may not. Class is in session. Can I ask... Please hold all questions till the end of the lesson. Hang on, when does us. class start? As soon as you get to my classroom. This isn't your classroom? No. This is. So are you ready, kid? Yeah. And what are you ready for? Safety. Oh, you think the human mind is safe? Well, that's cute. That's a different way to do the loading screen. Um, there's like a generic, like, portal animation when you went into people's minds normally in the first game. Want to? And that is how you perform the advanced psychic ability known as mental connection. Cool. cool. Oh no, Raz was late to class. Sorry, could you repeat that? Sorry, kid. I warned you not to be late. I'm off to attend to some fiduciary concerns. Norma, take over for me, won't you? You can practice with some of those loose ideas. But, Agent Forsyth, is it safe to leave all these thoughts out like this if you're not here? Norma, please. It takes more than a few rambunctious children to affect the mind of a trained psychonaut. not to fall asleep in my class. All right, Rep Scallion. Okay, now how do I explain? Animation is how you got powers in the first game. <laughs> we focus on an idea in someone's mind until we form a tangible connection with it. Oh, I didn't realize you were a mental connection expert. By all means, give us a demo. Professor. <gasps> wow. 
What the heck did you just do? I said connect with the idea, not jump inside it like a hamster ball. Sorry. Old habit from the circus, I guess. Not only is cilantro delicious, it's affordable and easy to grow in a window box <laughs> herb garden. What the heck is that? What? You left a slime trail. It's like he connected the two thoughts together. <laughs> oh, now you're in trouble. Oh, that's what those things are. Oh, okay. Looks like disgust. Well, I'm sure it's not the first time Rasputin has created that thought in someone's mind. <laughs> oh no. I know cilantro reduces the risk of digestive distress, but it tastes like soap. And honestly, I'd rather have the gas. Hey, Raz. If you can change Forsyth's opinion of cilantro, maybe you could change her mind about the casino mission. Hmm. I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, she worries about us kids too much. It's taking years off of her life expectancy. Oh, I see what's happening. Hmm. <laughs> if you could get her not to be so worried all the time, we could all go on a real Psycho Rob's mission! Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to take a look around up there. Just see if there's any, you know, problems. I'm gonna grab some of these pigments as well, of course. Straight to the top, Brad. Well, of course, what's if you're this scared, of wisdom, don't do it. I like those. I mean, you'll probably get kicked out of the site for for trying, but what the heck? Connect those dots, young man. Try not to kill her brain, Raz. Remember, it's for the good of the mission. Oh, yep. I need hat to fix it. So yeah, mental connection is a new power that was not in the first game. Uh, which is why I didn't recognize it at all. scared don't do it i mean you'll probably get kicked out of the psychonauts for trying but what the heck connect those thoughts young man try not to kill her brain raz remember it's for the good of the mission i can't frisk and disgust doesn't look like i can i think they're too far apart of course if you're scared don't do it i mean you'll probably get kicked out of the Psychonauts for trying, but what the heck? Connect those! Oh, wait. This was a terrible idea. Can I go back? Hey, who closed the door? Lizzie! In oh, dear. I'll just have to get Sasha to give up half of his left. Hard enough getting him to give up wearing yeah, socks. This was a bad idea. I'm going back. Remember that. Ah! Ah! Oh. Hospital? Our Lady of Restraint Neurological Hospital. I think Hollis said she was an intern here once. I always had my best ideas here. Let's just hope I don't run into Dr. Putz. Maybe trying to change her mind is a bad idea. No, wait. I think that is a bad idea. Oh, gosh.
any bad ideas but my own. <laughs> Speaking of, I gotta catch up to Hollis and try to change her mind about the mission. You probably shouldn't. It's a fact. Oh, it's an explosive. Okay. I think I hear some emotional baggage nearby. Yep. Ah, here's the hat box tag. What's that sound? Here you go, Steamy Trunk. I found your label. I'll take this nugget. Cranked up. <laughs> Make sure I don't miss anything out here. Collectibles are fun. Do I have the steam trunk tag? I think I do. Oh, I do. Okay. Sorry, right, hat box. That one's the hat box. Steam trunk is the green one I already got. I think that's most of the stuff outside the hospital, so let's head on in. Oh my god, look at the size of that kid's head! Get him to radiology, stat! <laughs> oh. Oh jeez, um... Yeah, Raz was underneath my face there for a second. We're doing a, a bit of a... Saved another life, Doctor Potts. Oh, please! I was just bit of a bit of a uh, Donkey Kong Country returns here. I heard the technique you used was developed by. There are no like uh, side-scrolling areas like this in the original. Intern? Why, yes, yes. Well, we did collaborate on that a little. I guess with wall jumps, it makes a lot more sense to do this kind of thing. The patient will make a full recovery, Doctor Potts. Oh. Thanks to you. Mm-hmm. And your brilliant intern, Hollis Forsythe. Why, uh, yes. Well, she has been a helpful assistant. You gonna bounce on these brains? I like the look oh, right. of these. This brain has made amazing progress. Another life saved by the Forsythe method. The, the POTS method? POTS? It was my intention? That in turn merely transcribed my dictation. Oh, uh, my apologies, Dr. Potts. In fact, I was thinking of getting rid of her. Hmm. Hey, I got half a mind. Oh, okay, so these are like hot pieces. I got half a mind to look for the other half. Something <laughs> tells me it's not too far away. I forget how health upgrades worked in the first game. I think it was just as you ranked up, gradually got them. It's been a while. I can't believe some people prefer open casket funerals. Disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna count death to victory. That sounds like a bad idea. 
Good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. Hmm. At our current burn rate. Oh, that's no good. Maybe if I move some funds around. I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. Another grant is off the table for sure. Bet the gastronauts don't have to pay pennies like this. Where am I going to put money for that? What if I... Uh -huh. some... Boop! Yep. Got uh, an extra brain. <laughs> to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them. But it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happened? <sighs> need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, it would open her up to so many more missions. That sounds really dangerous. Life experiences. Give me your wisdom, Nugget. I should really use soap when cleaning my produce, especially the cilantro. It's the only way to kill germs. Some people hate cilantro, but everybody hates socks with sandals. What if my husband starts wearing socks with sandals? <laughs> Could I love oh, him? this is funny. If she wants to solve her money problems, she's gonna need to accept some risk. Oh my, I just remembered how dire the Psychonauts' finances are. Apparently one more figment. Is it in this room somewhere? I can't see it. savory heft to any dish. Hmm. That's not the change I was going for. If the Psychonauts don't get some more funding soon, I'm... Well, I'm going to die. That's all there is to it. Handle that stress. I definitely could not handle that stressful casino mission right now. I think, I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems.
Uh, I don't think I missed a pigment there, but maybe it's in this last hit, or something will be a boss battle or something. Oh no, no, I'm working up again? Hmm. Hey, Teach? What gives? I was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so Is Morris well meant to be in like a psychic version of a wheelchair? Because that would be really cool. Out in the field. You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? You know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! Cool. All right. Sweet. Um... Hmm. I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Forsythe. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial they find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now, how long till we reach the Lady Lactopus? We are almost there. Agent Forsythe? How are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we've secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. Weak. What's the point of bringing them then? Chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. <laughs> Teacup, this is Shoehorn. We are nearing position one. I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. Teacup, come in. Are you there? Hollis. Oh, yes. Shoehorn, this is Teacup. I have you on business. What are you doing in there, Sam? When Agent Forsyth finally blows this, I'll be the only safe site. You're going in. I'll approach the reception desk and distract the Turks. After they're distracted, I'll drop into the office and find the room number that belongs to this key. Just make sure to disable the main fan, because my position is close. No need to explain, agents. You do your job, and I'll do mine. Let's keep radio silent so I can concentrate. Understood. Roger that, Teacup. Dustman out. <gasps> Rasputin, don't sneak up on me like that. Listen, do me a favor and run up to the jet, will you? I need my dowsing goggles. I left them on my seat, I think. You wanted to be on a mission. Now here's your first objective. Fetch my dowsing goggles. Okay, but hurry. Our window of opportunity is closing. All right, I'll be right back. Hmm. Okay. I don't see any dousing goggles anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I have no idea what they look like. <laughs> I've actually never even heard of dowsing. Oh no. Agent Forsyth, where are you going? Oh no, Hollis, what did I do to you? Rasputin, is that you? Mia? Sasha? Agent Forsyth is missing, but don't worry. I'll find her. Hurry, Rasputin. We're in big trouble here. Yes! Please find Agent Forsyth right away! I don't know how long I can... Hold on! Ugh. I'm on it. Do I have a time limit, or...? I can't go into the hotel. They have anti-psychic detectors. Hollis must have some way to hide it. Alert. Weak psychic activity detected. Weak? up to her this way. Uh. 
Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jours. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bets. Don't worry, Agent Forsyth. I can fix this. <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, no more bets. Oh, that's cool. That door, by the way, it belongs to Sasha. Um. Raz basically took it because Sasha disappeared during the first game. Is that the last figment I need? Well, it's different. Oh, lots of figments. This is this is essentially a different level. <laughs> I haven't been talking that much. It's just there's a lot of like dialogue and interaction in this sort of game. Maybe it's not so bad. Okay, yeah, there's another 106 uh, figments to get here, so the first stage, uh, I missed some stuff. <laughs> yeah, the half brain. Let's risk. Get connected to something better. Hmm. One bit. Oh dear. <laughs> oh wow. Oh no. Looks like Hollis had a spontaneous change in her world. <laughs> Unrelated to my inappropriate meddling with her thoughts. <laughs> Need to find Hollis's quiet room again and break that bad mental connection I made. Uh... Uh, yeah, mind stepping aside, buddy. This is an emergency. No. No. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me existing. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, let's move. Oh no! Back to the mission. Looks like this game doesn't have lives. I think the first one did and didn't, it didn't really make sense. So removing them is, you know, I've talked about this in part of the platformers. It doesn't really make sense to have lives. Can I skip the cutscene? Yeah, let's hold B. Okay. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me existing. I get out of the way for going up here. This isn't really an easy way to heal yourself. If I had some of those Psypops, that would be great, but I don't. Oh, health, there we go. A little bit better. Yeah. I'm having some trouble. <laughs> Here we go. No. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me existing. Cyblast feels a lot blastier now. Okay, we're doing better. We're doing better.
The combat feels a lot more acrobatic than it did in the first game, which is appropriate. Good thing we're near a hospital, so, uh, your ghosts don't have to walk very- oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, Raz. Kind of weird that they've mapped something to pressing the attack button while on your levitation. Because in the first game, um, you could just swing your normal fist while you're levitating. And now I can't do that because I've got a different ability on that button. It's a little off-putting. <laughs> Granted, I have the Wrecking Ball, so it doesn't really matter too much. Because it'll break stuff by rolling into it. Okay, so this place still exists, but it's full of playing cards now. Come on, yep. live, damn you, live! Full recovery! You did it, Dr. Potts! Call me Jack! Let's go for double or nothing! Woo! Banana! Yep! Banana! Infection? Ah, oh, dang it! I'm so sorry, Doctor. Ah, oh, well, it can't be helped. Some patients are just bad luck. I don't like the look of these. Mm. Yes, the heart's salvageable, but the rest? Should we fall? No, no, let's hold the eight and the queen, and we'll pull for the insides, Jake. I'll just quickly pop into Hollis's quiet place and fix this mess. High Rollers Lounge? That's not good. We're at about two hours of video. Um, I'm having an amazing time. Um, so far, this game is everything I could have wanted it to be. Rasputin, what are you doing here? Sorry. Beautiful. <laughs> crash your hospital casino oh everyone's welcome in the casino without gamblers how else will we make any money <laughs> <laughs> no you just can't be up here because it's the high rollers lounge wait agent foresight i need to tell you ah! oh did gravity just change What's happening what the Oh, oh. Phew. It's just the morgue. <laughs> oh, gosh. Huh? Yes, Rasputin? Uh, we got a patient here. He needs emergency access. Sorry. The table minimum in the High Rollers Lounge is, uh, three gazillion dollars. What? How much is a gazillion? More than you got, kid. <laughs> it's just a more roll good. Oh, yep, gravity's happening. Look at this. Woohoo!
yeah, um, object, like, being able to orbit around things like this, kind of Mario Galaxy style, was, like, a major part of the first game as well. Um, Sasha's level was, like, a giant cube that you could run around on, that you could do interesting things with. Uh, so yeah, seeing this mechanic again makes a lot of sense. But for now, I think we're probably about done. <laughs> Play for two hours on camera. Oh gosh. By now, you've probably got a good idea if you would enjoy this game. Um, so check it out. Uh, you know, if, if you at all appreciated the original Psychonauts, or you just like collectathon platformers with really, really good writing, <laughs> uh, then yeah, check this game out because it's very good. It, it is everything I was hoping for. Is she meant to go to Maternity because that's where the one on the die is? Actually, let me just check. Is yeah, one opposite six. I just want to make sure the sides are correct. Two opposite... What is that? Five? Two, five? Yeah, that's right. Three... Opposite four. Yep, that's right. That's that's how a, a D6 is supposed to be arranged. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Psychonauts 2 exists. And it's real fun. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying it. So, um... If you think you would really enjoy it too, then give this game a shot. Because it... It's real cool. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm sorry my commentary was like a little lacking because, you know, it's just a game with a lot of really witty dialogue and you kind of have to listen to it a lot of the time. Raz is a very talkative protagonist. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's about all I got to say about this. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope. If this game looks good to you, that you check it out, because I'm having a, a whale of a time. <laughs> um, yeah. I haven't tried to play it with a keyboard. Like, I just grabbed my keyboard to go and stop the recording, but we'll just see what it's doing here. Yeah, so you can play with a mouse and keyboard. You'd probably be better off with a gamepad. Like, the original I always played with a gamepad, just you can make Raz move in, like, slowly in different directions and stuff like that. Platformer. <sighs> Hmm. Interestingly, I don't think I have an easy way to exit the current mind yet. I might unlock that later. Um, in the first game, before you enter any mines, I need all the pins. before you go into any mines, you get smelling salts to let you exit, and later you get that piece of bacon that lets you ask Ford to bring you out of the mind, but so far we have no way of leaving a mind if you happen to be in it. So I, I assume that'll come up later, unless they've like drastically changed the structure of the game, but I, they probably haven't, because they've still got the shop you can go to to get things like Psypops, so... I don't know, I assume we'll just get that later. <laughs> In any case, uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and that's all I've got to say, so... Uh, how do I actually get out of this? There we go. Bye! <laughs>